Hello there. Uh, completely stranger. Okay. What, what the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, dude? You're on live stream. Uh, about... Uh, 600 people are watching a live stream. We're actually doing a Omegle talent show. Do you want to enter? Okay, yalla yalla. Okay, that was awkward. Uh, seems like there's not more, a lot more, uh, more far talent in one word lookers out there no yeah more for talent out there uh hello there uh i'm gonna cut you off because we're doing a omegle talent show actually uh so but uh, yeah uh hello i'm i'm from sweden and uh, I, I speak no americano anyways uh more for talent one word let's see if we can find at least one more yeah, more for talent. Here we go. Awesome. Hello there. All right. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Dylan. Dylan, and you're from America. From England. Uh, Canada. Canada. Ah, oh. ah, oh, I love Canada because uh, be it's just because I watch How I Bet Your Mother because one of the characters there are from Canada. And uh, yeah, anyways, um, um, can you type in your uh, Twitch username? Sure. So, I'm interested to know, where about the uh, Canada do you live? Do you live in like the Fran French, uh, uh, French uh, part or going to the cold areas? Um. Right beside Quebec, uh, Ontario. Okay, okay. Uh, so you do speak uh, a bit French, uh, oui? Just a little bit. Oui? Okay. Uh, but, um, yeah, do you get a lot of trash uh, for being uh, uh, a Canadian by the Americans? Yeah, a lot of it, actually. Mm. So all that and movies and all that, that's all true. But do, what what do you yeah. think what do you think about the American backpackers who ba backpack in Europe and in uh, Southeast Asia and they don't put you, the American flag on the f back they actually put the Canadian flag on the back. Um, I'm not too sure actually. Because they are really afraid of what the world thinks of America because of uh, what uh, the former presidents have done and uh, how much war they do. So uh, actually, they 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 just show that just shows that the American think you Canada is a bit better, especially if you're outside uh, outside your country. So you, um, what what is your talent? Um, I'm pretty flexible with my legs, and I can put them behind my head. Okay. What are you, what, what's your, like, what's your hobby? Uh, ballerina or something? Oh, no, no, um, I just, I'm used to sitting, and, uh, I usually have my legs up, and they're, I don't know, but they're really flexible, so. So you haven't trained you haven't trained this at all so this is pretty much you you got it pretty much at birth i guess so it's uh it's, it's pretty much a unique gift you have yeah i guess i'm dying to see it the the floor is yours all right. that doesn't seem to be very comfortable is it? Not really, but it doesn't hurt, so... But you sit, do you sit in game like that sometimes? No, not in game. I just usually sit with my uh, my legs up on the table. <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, I'm going to see what the judges are saying. And... Uh... <laughs>
just so you know, I'm planning to, at one point in my life, um, do uh, not a lot, uh, not a big, but uh, somewhat of a backpack backpacking experience in Canada because I want to experience Canada because it's, it seems like a fucking awesome country if you want to see some wildlife and experience the wild. So, um, yeah. But that's uh, in uh, many, many years. So hopefully you're still a born born by then and you're, you're all grown out so we can go and grab some beer or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, That'd so be pretty cool. So here is your results. So hold on tight. You are you are the last p talent for tonight, and um, you know the top three is really hard to beat. So we start off with Stacy. She says ten out of ten. Pretty awesome. I love his accent. Oh, a lady loves your accent. Holy shit. M. Bon Bon gives you an 8 out of 10. And Briggsol gives you a 7 out of 10. And he has one word, flexible. And that leaves you on an average of 8.3. It sadly does not give you uh, into the top 3, but I have to say... You came damn close, so hopefully you can be on another. Um, sorry, <sighs> you. I guess you heard about how tired and how little I've been sleeping. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, hopefully you are going to be uh, uh, watching the live stream tomorrow, and maybe can you can do a, a train on a new trick for tomorrow or whatever. Sure, dude. Have a wonderful. I don't even know what the time in Thai, uh, what the time in uh, Canada is. Is it like nine nine p.m. or is it uh, uh six forty one p.m. Uh, see, it's just the uh, and here it's uh, uh yeah soon one o'clock a.m. But dude, have a wonderful wonderful evening and thanks for joining. Thanks. You too, more far. Big balls for big balls for uh, actually being so young and still want to show up your face uh, in front of uh, two, at least two hundred people. So big balls, big balls. Yeah. Puss to Kram and all that. <sighs> bye bye. And there we go. Uh, the uh, the 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 the. the, the and there we go lost show i don't know what i i gotta find what uh, hot key it is that turns off my mm, fucking uh, microphone anyways um uh, the scores are in we know we know who who has won we know the top three and um mm, let's see here yes we do we do know the top three so here we go at third place with her remarkable talent of creating a doll looking almost like a morphar in third place J C B L K A L K P G uh, and with her amazing art she came in at third place with nine points. So that means she is now a VIB for life. And in the second place, we have my new voice actor, even aka called Smeagol, Van, he Van Hades Deadfall. Congratulations, you are now a VIB for life. And as we all know, the winner was Alexama three uh, thirty three with a guitar that amazed us all. So there you go, folks. Top three, and every one of them became VIB uh, via for life. So that's it, folks. I want you to thank the moderators, uh, and I hope you have shown. Them great respect throughout the evening because without the moderators and without the team, 
and this wouldn't be possible at all I, I i too want to say thank you to the team i like to say thank you to johnny boy thank you to brigsell thank you stacy thank you mim hanna thank you madrag thank you so much everyone for helping me out uh well that's pretty much it i'm tired as fuck i've slept a couple of hours in the last past days and uh, now when the live stream is over soon take your time click on the link below where it says found me go check out the video go check out the description if you if it's up your alley and you feel like oh hey this is seem to be a pretty good cause don't hesitate to actually donate and i will announce your name um if you do if you if you don't donate before uh 12 in 11 hours uh, I, I will have a video ready where I thank the latest donators uh, person in video and everyone who donates I, I personally send out a personal thank you to you and uh, depending on how much you donate you receive different things and uh, we have today we actually had our very first one who received a uh, uh, received a um, founder a title so I actually need to uh, because she already had it donated the uh, um uh, uh, what is it called i'm I'm totally confused right now mm. she already had a donate if i uh, uh edit there we go thank thank fuck for that because i, I need to make sure it says I'm doing wrong. Anyways, one thousand. That means she is. Her name is going to be on the on the new uh, um, uh, animal protection uh, animal rescue center in Thailand that we are funding to build. And remember, twenty percent of the fund also goes to the diabetics type one, type two. Well, it, I've been. Uh, dedicated donator ever since David died in, uh, from my life uh, David was my best friend he died 2008 uh, Taiwan and my little sister had type uh, diabetic so we, we feel we already donated 110,000 Swedish crowns to the uh, diabetic foundation but we felt we don't want to lose it so 20% will also go to the diabetics type 1 and type 2 but an 80% to uh, getting this shelter in order and uh, apparently right now we have more than 10 people who have shown their interest of coming down in summer and work and volunteer work for for what we are doing so yeah i hope you're going to follow and i'm moving to thailand next on friday uh, everything should be up by wednesday next week uh, computer and all that stuff uh, there will be two different vlogs one vlog with my life basically uh, day day to day life in Thailand and in Hua Hin and one vlog dedicated to the funds raiser what we're doing you can see what's happening when you have donated let's say we have something like dog foods for example uh, and you see me go buy it and uh, like for people who have uh, donated um, uh, before uh, who are going to receive the keychain we calculated that this old old man my friend who creates these by hand he he's his he use he use, he's used to do about 10 per night uh it's about 125 he needs to do and they are all exact the same so i'm going to bring my camera and talk to him and see his reaction and see so it's going to be wonderful uh, vlogs to follow and not only that i will keep doing at least free free uh series uh, so Skyrim, Amnesia, and one more game I haven't decided yet. Uh, and uh, uh, the fourth uh, mo fourth game will be, you know, if a new indie comes or if, well, everything new that I'm not going to do a series about, but I want to maybe do a couple of gameplays off or if it's a short game and, you know, that kind of stuff. So I hope I explain myself. And uh, with this, thank you very much. And now, 
go check out this page so you know what uh, we have been talking about all night. This has been a charity stream and my name is Morfar. Thank you and don't forget live stream tomorrow starting same time as today. Maybe an hour la uh, uh, later depending on uh, whatever. So make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Links also below uh, to if you wanna if you don't wanna miss tomorrow's live streams. Until next time, guys. Pussy ground.